Hey everybody, welcome back. And um, part two, semi precious stones, and um, pebbles, quartz, you know, pretty little things. I hope you can see that. The, the colours in there, unbelievable. I say these have been in one of my little glass cases for ages. So I showed you the Jade, Jade 8. That one's the, the best one. Then that one. The others are just tourist, cheap tourist pieces. What's that? Um, that'll come back to us, what that's called. You've got your little mother of pearl crucifixes. And um, this is, so I bought four or five lots at auction a while ago. These are different kinds of turquoise from, with I think that's obsidian on the back. The um the black the black backing. Uh, I know there's lots of amazing mines out there, but this this stuff is getting scarcer. Some of the mines closed down, and uh, you know they run out of money, they become bankrupt. I particularly love like these little bits. About half a dozen of these. Different colours slightly, different sizes. That's one of my favourite pieces. We can pick that up. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway. Got these little semi-precious stones and what have you. Agate. I love agate, it's one of my favourites. This is what I found on the beach. I don't know what it is. Cornelian agate. Little Chinese tourist piece. With a little little bead there, a little red bead. And a little orange agate style. Someone told us this years ago was jade when I bought it. I mean you can get lots of different colour jades guys, don't don't believe they're all green. And it is rock hard, which is one of the, the signs of jade. And it is fairly cold to the touch and it looks like a Chinese rat. These aren't, these are um, just cheap, cheap little stone carvings. And that's, that's quite well carved. Oh my God. And that, that's why I'm called Nine Old Fingers. That's that's my wedding ring. I haven't seen that for two and a half years. Anyway, Lapis Lazuli, one of my favourites. Smoky Quartzes. Don't know what that one is. Had a hole cut through it. few more different turquoises, agates, these were part of that collection I was talking about. These ones, I'd love to know what they are. I've got a, I've got a few books and I can't find what they are. So they've got like a, a blue colour mainly, um, just in case you're not picking up in this light. Um, but it has like an iridescence, like an oily iridescence to it. I mean there were specimens, they're all um, numbered. Part of this collection unfortunately i didn't get the paperwork and then they have these silver flecks going through them they're beautiful in their own right and i love the iridescency i mean one of my favorite things i like to pick up i'm a bit like a magpie for blue blue things you know pretty blue things and then we've got these agates this this is an amazing one it's um moss agate SRC on the back and it has like a fungus style of growth going through it it's not a growth it's not moss but it's um I don't know maybe there was a fissure or a crack in the um in the original um item as it was being formed which creates
created that. Yeah, I would love to have had the paperwork on these. SRC, SRA. Okay, that's quite beautiful with the little dots there. It's really quite unusual. They look like they've been drilled. In a turquoise. This purple one. Must must have been something prop something decent because it's been backed. Looks like it's been backed anyway. I'm no expert. I wish I was an expert in this. This area. There's another agate. And it's got what looks like a, again a bit of that mossy type of uh, approach coming through it. Cornelians and um Okay, there's a couple of stone arrows. This one looks like it's finished off. This one doesn't, unless it wore had a bit chipped out. Oh, yeah, how can you gauge the age of those? I don't know, or the age of anything. But these, in their own right, they're absolutely beautiful little items. Um, Cornelian, Bloodstone, Agate, pretty. These are ready to go for um, crafts, craft people, just to crack, crack on with them. 83 stones, it says on the label there. Different colours, different grades, polished and unpolished sides, the low ones. Now, if you, someone was highly skilled, then you could you could get this type of thing and make an absolute killing with it. Try to them tomorrow. Which one we got here? This looks like a quite unusual one. Again, guys, so I'm just doing a few a few videos here, a few short videos. Um, hopefully, you aren't um self isolated. But if you are, just binge watch, binge watch. Look and learn. It's what I do every day on um, YouTube when I get a bit of time. Banded Agate. It's one of my favourites of all time. And I wish I'd never sold some of the amazing pieces of Banded Agate that I've had. It's a beautiful stone. What would you do with these guys? Would you... Make something with it, I don't know. There's a lot of people a lot more skillful out there than me. That's a lovely piece of band that I get. It's a very fine band. And then we we'll have this. This is one of my wife's favourite um, stones. Apart from diamonds, obviously. Um, Tiger's Eye. Mother's Day tomorrow. Might give her a few pieces of these. <laughs> no, just joking. There's a little heart shaped one. You never know. If I was to um, get plenty of time because I was safe isolated, then I've got lots of silver chains I might I might spend a couple of days crafting. A couple of unusual ones here. These purple ones. Hopefully you get the colours out with these guys. They're a bit like that. But a smaller version. I would absolutely be amazed. Um, if somebody could find out what they are. But then be even more amazed to find out that they were worth hundreds of pounds or dollars per item so this this last one here these are quite quite special I think so the the almost see-through maybe it's a uh, five millimeter up over to nine or ten millimeter You've got that slight iridescency again and 
almost see-through. Still can't remember what that's called. Um, Moonstone? Maybe Moonstone. Yeah, I think it is. So that's that's pretty much on this video, guys. These are, you know, I've got boxes and boxes and bags of things like this. And, and I was hoping this year to actually hammer the um, flea markets and car boot sales and it doesn't look like that's going to happen at all now um, today and yesterday the ones I would normally go to are cancelled for the foreseeable future you're talking in um, a few months the sales on eBay have dropped off to almost nothing so I've got about 10 things selling tomorrow for low amounts I'm possibly going to stop them or I may let them run post them if I can and then um, not list again for a while there's a there's a nice one bloodstone you often see these on pocket watch fobs with varying degrees or varying amounts of little red blood like droplets in them so that's a really nice one okay so that's number two Anything on there that you find amazing, guys, that you really love? Let us know. Let us know if you know what some of them are. I'll be most grateful. I'm thinking about when I get to 100 subscribers. I'm, I'm saying when. Yeah, I'll say when. Um, I'm at 84 at the moment. When I get there, I'm going to put together a small parcel of nice items. Some of these. And do a giveaway. Um, I would hope that would be appropriate and and I'd like to do one every time I get to a milestone so 100 my next milestone looking forward to getting to that and then see how it goes who knows I might put an opal in there okay so once again questions are appreciated and and I would love to see some questions some answers to my questions likes or dislikes and if you can if at all possible share but stay safe out there guys